All right, so I'm going to show you how to sidechain with Ableton's compressor. Now, first what I'm going to do is let me play this uh, little loop section here. Okay, so what I want to do is this, this part here. side chain that to the kick pattern here and as you'll notice there is also hi-hats on here and we don't want uh, this part being side chained to the hi-hats we just want it side chained to the kick so let me show you how that works so on the track that we want the effect to happen on that's where we want to have a compressor, okay? So on Ableton's compressor, there's this little triangle deal here. If you click on that, it'll open this little section up, and this is your sidechain section. So I'm going to turn the sidechain on, and then here with audio from, I'm going to choose what I want to trigger the sidechain. Now it could be anything, but most commonly people like to use kick drum. So that's the example that I'll, I'll use here. So here's the kicks and hi-hat track. And then normally the threshold's going to be up. So let me just start how it normally would be. And So that's what you would have there, which would be no different. So what you want to do is you want to set the threshold down so it's pushing the volume down. Okay, so I usually pull it pretty deep. As you can see, it's starting to push that down. Then I'll usually make the ratio a bit stronger. So let, let's take it to uh, five to one. As you notice, we're starting to get that whomping sound that uh, you get from, from the sidechain effect. And the, the speed at which it returns is really um, creating that effect. And that's done with the release. So we can kind of fine tune it with the release. So I, I like that, but I'm still it's still being affected by the hi-hats as well, and I don't want that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come to the EQ here, and I'm going to set to, this here is the low pass, all right? And this means that anything under this frequency is what it's going to re respond to. So if I set this down to 100 hertz or whatever, I can be certain that it's not going to be affected by the frequencies above that, which would be the hi-hats. So it's only going to be affected from the kick. So now when I play it back, it's going to be more noticeable. Like so. So let me uh, show you a before. And that's side chaining in Ableton with Ableton's compressor.